Okay, what's going on everybody? My name is Mang. Welcome back to Mang the Duelist. Enter the Gauntlet. Uh, so last time we finished our first Gauntlet run at 9 and 2, which was pretty good. Pretty good. Could be better, but could be a hell of a lot worse. Uh, and then we did some challenges. So we're going to kind of flip it this time. We're going to start with a challenge and then do the Gauntlet run. Because last time, um, I, I spent like 20 minutes or so on this final one, this Abyssian V Lionar, and I just couldn't get it. But I think I might have it figured out, um, uh, maybe. Let me, okay, so this one moves here. Then we do that. Then we're going to Dark Fire Sacrifice the Blood Siren to bring out the Mana Forger. Then we Soul Shatter Pact. And then this one moves in to kill this. Then this kills this. kills this this kills this this guy actually moves in and is gonna hit him and then we do void pulse and then we do this it should be enough done yes <clears throat> so that guy actually hits the general which is more damage than just making another one of those things on the ground by killing a minion. So that's that's how that's done. All right, do it. We got Abyssian, Vaynar, and Vitruvian. Hmm, tricky. Probably go with Vitruvian. I think Vitruvian <laughs> might be the strongest faction right now, based on what the patch notes have read. Oh, that hype music starting already. Got Inner Oasis, Mind Warper, Golem, Metallurgist. Um, probably Mind Warper. I took that last time when I went 9 and 2, so... That, that means everything. Golem, Metallurgist might be good if we get more Golems, which is a definite possibility, but... Mind Warper. Storm, Aratha, Ash, Mephit, and the High Hand. So a 5, 5, 6. Uh, probably the Ash, Mephit is pretty decent. Just for flooding the board. Although the High Hand could be pretty good. But that puts your eggs in one basket. The Ash, Mephit kind of mixes it up. Take that. Rogue Warden, Pyromancer, and the Staff of Yakia. Um, Pyromancer's not bad. Staff of Yakia is a solid artifact. Um, we'll take <laughs> we'll take the Pyromancer. Nope, oh, another Pyromancer, another Staff, or Entropic Decay. I will take that. I love that spell. Storm Metal Golem, Komodo Charger, Dragon Lark. We'll skip the Storm Metal Golem for now and just look at these two. So 1-3 for 1, just the most basic minion in the game. Or a 1 cost 2-1 with flying. What is better? The Komodo's decent because it can survive a hit from a general, so... There's that going for it. It's a solid 1 drop. Better if you can buff it. Dragonlark can pick off flying and minions though potentially, so that's nice. We'll take the charger. Another decay. Scion's first wish or the obelisk. <clears throat> no man. Uh, probably obelisk. As much as I love entropic decay, we already have one. Scion's first wish. 
could be good, but getting a bunch of obelisks in this deck could help a lot. Maw, first sort of a crane and another decay. So Maw is the absolute flip of the charger. It's a 3 1 for 1, which arguably is better. Um, I am a fan of the first sort of a crane. I think that's good, especially if we get a bunch of obelisks and things like that. That could work out. I'll take it. Astral phasing, Sunseer, and a Windstorm Obelisk. Sunseer is a 2 4 for 3. Whenever it deals damage, store 2 health to your general. Okay. How many times is it really going to deal damage? So, Obelisk is the way to go. <coughs> Staff of Yukir, Wind Shriek, or another Obelisk. If we get all Obelisks, that'd be pretty crazy. I mean, a lot of Obelisks, anyway. Wind Shriek, 4 3 for 4, has flying and it cycles itself, draws a card. That's pretty sad. I might take that instead of the other obelisk. But man, for two costs, throwing that down is just so good. Yeah. Another meddler, just Inner Oasis, and I'll be Sage. Tempted to just go for Inner Oasis here. If we have a bunch of weenies, that's helpful. Okay. Sworn Avenger. Sivrel. Or the Twilight Sorcerer. As far as stat lines go, Twilight's obviously the best. But these two are ranged. I would probably pick the Sworn Avenger over Sibrel. I'm hesitant about ranged minions, though. But I guess it does put a target on them, which can be good. The Twilight Sorcerer, a 3 6 for 4, is solid and could get us another Entropic Decay. I don't have many spells, so I might have to just throw that out there without getting the buff, the benefit. In which case, its stats are okay. Well, I mean, they're pretty good. Ugh. We'll take the Sworn Avenger. We'll mix things up. That's what this is about. Another epic. Sworn Defender, Ether Master, Alquin Lore Master. Uh, Sworn Defender. It's just a solid drop. <clears throat> Fire Blazer, Sunseer, Repulsor Beast. We'll nix the Sunseer. Fire Blazer is just... I mean, it's it's a body out there with Provoke. It's just a very solid minion. Repulsor Beast is more utility. Nearby any minion to any space on the battle. That can deal with issues temporarily. We'll go for utility. Oh, Captain Hank Hart, Wildfire Onk, or Artifact Hunter. I think I have to go with Hank Hart. Even though it's probably not the right pick, I just love him so much. I'll just pick him every time. He's just so damn cool. Freaking Captain Hank Hart. Uh, Artifact Hunter would not be great for me at this point in time, as I have no artifacts. Wildfire Onk would be my first artifact. It's not a bad one, but... You kind of want to mix that with the staff of Yakir, so Hank Hart. Azure Horn Shaman, Sand Heller, Fire Blaze Obelisk. Uh, Azure Horn Shaman. I mean, you do get a 1 4 for 2, I guess. And the Dying Wish could be good, potentially. Sand Heller is just pretty solid. I mean, it's like. Again, it's like the fairy dragon. But yes. Yes, give me that. Blue Tip Scorpion, First Order of Crane, uh, the Song Weaver. Probably the Scorpion. I already have a Sword of a Crane. Song Weaver is just. I don't know. You're kind of just banking on that 
like screwing up your opponent's plans. Another scorpion, blind scourge, or the dragon bone golem. That would be a big drop for me. Blind scorch would be utility. Yeah, we'll take blind scorch. Siphon energy, windstorm obelisk, doomcaster. Siphon energy is not bad as we have no dispels. Um, so as much as I might want to take one of the other ones, I might have to take siphon energy. <laughs> Doomcaster would be really good with how many obelisks I have. But man, dispelling, that's huge. Healing Mystic, Storm Metal Golem, Planar Scout. I have four two drops, although technically two of them are just obelisks. Like the healing mystic. Inner Oasis, Imperial Mechanist, Sand Howler. Imperial Mechanist 2 5 for 3, which isn't bad, and it refreshes your artifacts to full charges, which would be good if we had any. Uh, so we'll take the Sand Howler, which is just a solid drop. Crimson Oculus, Mana Forger, Sword of Mechazor. Um, we have four spells, so Mana Forger is not huge. Sword of Mechazor is a solid minion. 3-3 three, three for 3 with Frenzy. That could do some damage. So it's between that and the Crimson Oculus, which I'm a fan of. Because this thing basically, like, it you it has taunt. It has, like, super taunt, basically. Because it doesn't matter where the opponent's minions are, they have to go kill it. That's kind of what that is. So, you know, 3 cost super taunt. Sure. Uh, enslave. Sand Holler Imperial Mechanism. Probably taking Slave just because I find it hilarious and awesome. Fire Blazer, Siphon Energy, Thorn Needler. We'll take another Dispel. Another Obelisk, Young Flame Winner, Bright Moss Golem. We don't have many 4 drops, so I might take the Flame Wing, even though it's really not that great. Maybe if those stats were switched. Yeah. Ooh, Legendary. Venom Toth, who I never like. Spelljammer or Pandora. Probably Pandora, just because it's fun. Orb Weaver, Ethereal Obelisk, Cosmic Flesh. We'll take another Obelisk. Orb Weaver, De Entropic Decay, Wind Shriek. Entropic Decay. Siphon Energy, Song Weaver, Blood Tear Alchemist. Ooh. I don't know if I want a third Siphon Energy. That's a bit much. Probably take the Blood Tear Alchemist. Sand Trap, Entropic Decay, Ethereal Obelisk. Sand Trap could be good, but damn, is that situational. A third Entropic Decay might be nuts, but a fourth Obelisk? If you just keep throwing that shit out there, man, you control the battlefield. Unless we go up against Magmar and he just throws out a Plasma Storm. Uh, Inner Ice is Fountain of You, Silver Tongue Corsair. Corsair. Okay. No artifacts. Seven spells. I don't know. I don't know if I see this going nine, but I don't play Vitruvian much, so we'll see. I kind of went for a bit more of a fun deck, I guess. We shall see how it goes. Expected weighs 1 minute and 16.9 seconds. We'd get that hype music the whole time. So good. Yep. I mean, I, I don't have a stopwatch going or anything, so it might actually be one minute. 16.9 seconds. But that hype music. 
So good. Just stomps on everything Hearthstone's got. It is the 4th of July, I should say that. So, I don't know how many people are uh, doing gauntlet runs on the 4th. There's me, and there's uh, non, non-Americans, so I gotta find one of those people. Yep, maybe it's gonna be a no-go. Yep. I think it's been longer than one minute, 16.9 seconds. There's like two people probably battling. And so I need to wait for one of them. I need to wait for their game to end. And then hopefully I can get in with one of them. The other guy can wait. That's that's probably what's going on. Oh my goodness. I'm dying here. Captain Hank Hart just wants to unleash the beast. They're not letting him. Oh, boy. Yeah. <clears throat> well, maybe, you know, when it goes into closed beta, we'll get a lot more people. So, there's that. But it's a holiday. Although, if I were on Hearthstone, I'm sure I could find people playing. But that's not really fair. So, yeah, I might have to just withhold until Wednesday. In which case, this isn't really a video at all. Oh, wait, I found somebody. Papika. 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 See, like, that's just, it's a good, it's a good turn one drop, man. Because he either has to, like, pretty much has to use a spell to deal with it. And it has to be, I don't even know if he has a spell that would deal with it. So now I could either fire blaze if I need the extra attack, or I can throw down the Sworn Avenger. Keeping in mind now that Tempest does three damage. Okay, it's probably gonna be fire blaze. Unless, unless it gets, my little minion gets summoned here, in which case, that's really shit. Jeez. 
Jesus, Papika, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't you love these players that just have to, like, click on every one of their minions and just, like, slowly scroll over the entire battlefield to see if anything makes sense? Heart. Hank Hart's here to do some business. Papika, papika. Papika takes a long time to do his turn. Wow. How does that only cost five? Oh, because it's a golem. Well, shit. I really need to cycle out for a, an entropic decay then. Otherwise, this is gonna get nasty. Even with that, I don't wanna take the eight. Shit, I might have to take the eight. I can't, I can't avoid the golem. It's right next to me. Although I could put something in the way. But I'm not going to put Hank Hart there. Oh, no, it's not going to work, is it? Oh, no, it might work. No, it's not going to work. Can he move here? He can definitely still hit me. That's a shit. That's a shit life. So... Guess it doesn't really matter. Except for the fact. He might kill one of my obelisks instead, but all that would really do is just save eight damage on my face, so I'd I'd probably prefer that. Yeah, that's what I figured. Which doesn't put me in a pleasant spot, but... We got Hank Hart. You can't lose the game with Hank Hart. The devs told me that. They messaged me. Because I was like, how can Hank Hart be such a badass? And they were like, he just is. We don't know, but if you have him in your deck, you can't lose. That's just the way it is. We don't make the rules. Hank Hart just told us to do it that way. And, uh, so they did. So, if I didn't have a dispel there, that would really suck. I 
I want to summon Hank, but the time is not not yet right. Hmm, I'm in not a great spot. And I got these two things that have survived the whole time. That's really good. Those are helping me out. I had a crucial dispel there. That really helped. I don't know what I would have done alternatively. Uh, I guess. I probably could have still made it work. Oh, Papika! Why do you take so long? He knows I've got Hank Hart waiting in the bay. Ready to kick ass and take some name. Okay. Well, that's good. Hank Hart so much. How can you not? You should drop just a huge, your biggest minion possible. Just right there. No problem. You got the game on lock. Yeah, I mean, you should have done that a long time ago. Because at this point, what's that? It's 2, 7, 9, 12. So I need one extra damage, probably, from this thing, but we'll see. Papika! What rank is this guy? 23? You got to 23 taking this long every time? Damn, man. That's just disrespectful. I didn't, I didn't have lethal, so <laughs> there's no point bringing him down to one health. This dude just turned on you, man. He turned on you.
Uh huh. Oh my god! If only there weren't like two ranged minions on the board. Oh god. If only I didn't have like eight different ways of beating you. Oh gosh. Look at that. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Hold up. Okay. So first, we're going to repulsor beast this thing to get the hell out of my face. Then we go up. And we're going to smack this. And then we can throw down this just to BM. And then Hank Hart shoots that asshole in the face! Boom! Hank Hart, he don't play no games. Alright. Let's do that again. Oh. Instantly with somebody else, that's lucky. That's a terrible two drop. That's a better two drop. Oh man, that's a good counter. Well, on the one hand, uh, on the one hand, no, I don't want to be stunned, but on the other hand, the stunning doesn't really matter at this point. Like, I'm not doing anything crucial, it's all kind of just very back and forth, so I was gonna, this was gonna happen regardless. <clears throat> Which is unfortunate, but there's not anything I could do about it. The question is, will he give me a way of buffing myself? I think Siphon Energy, I don't know. I honestly have no idea if Siphon Energy will reduce him back to a 1-2 or if it just, because like the only thing listed is cannot attack general. If I Siphon Energy and he becomes just a 5-5 five five that can do anything as a ranged, that's pretty much GG. But I guess we find out right now. See, now that is retarded. That that needs to be fixed. That 100% needs to be fixed. I mean, he got rid of the range, which is nice, but... God, that's so retarded. Okay, I got a polarity, which is good. Oh man, that's so bullshit. Uh, devs? Well, I don't know if I would have done that. But I guess. 
Okay, thank you. Um, that actually worked out way better than I thought it would. I don't think an experienced player would have done the things that he did. I mean, that 5-5 five five with ranged was terrifying. See? That's super taunt. Super taunt. So, okay, I guess. Probably blind scorch. Yeah. This could be a 7-4 next turn. We can also enslave next turn, so that's good. See, that's why I took that card. It's just, it's just fun. It's just a fun card. He just does not have a lot of board presence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Donker Sheen. Just turned on you, man. We'll leave it. Oh, damn it. Uh, I mean, that's alright. Because really, that forced him to use a spell. And he lost his minion. I have board advantage. He's got nothing. I can live. I can live. Hank Hart! Hank Hart! <laughs> I don't think I can actually play Hank Hart though. I have, uh... I have other things that must be done that take precedence, unfortunately. But soon! Very soon. We have we have board control, so I'm not too concerned. We'll throw out this. And we'll leave it at that. We stand a good chance of winning. Oh boy, Jack's true sight coming out. Alright, let's think. <coughs> There's no world in which I have lethal. I could do... Six, eight? I could do eight damage. 
That's not enough. So, this needs to be dispelled if we're going to go anywhere. Which means I need to move over there. So this guy can move up. We play Hank Hart. Do this, do this. So it's gonna be kinda painful next turn. It's not gonna be wonderful. This is, oh, you got dispelled, okay. That takes damage anyways. What could he do? He's got three ranged. He could pick off both of these. Is he gonna buff him? Does he have any buffs? Oh yeah, he has the plus three attack one, but he decided to turn one into a Ravager. Oh. Shit. gonna be close actually actually well, hold on fuck that did not need to appear there can I can can I regain control yes yes I can this going there him killing that That killing that. That there. Flood the board. All right, it's still close, but he has zero board presence, so he needs a rush, and he needs to, well, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's fine. You're still in a really bad spot. You have no other minions. And that's your whole turn. Wow. I think you're kind of done, to be honest. Let me see though. That could be three. It's going to be not quite. Um, I did, I did misplay that whole jumble a tiny bit, if you're curious. Um, I did things in a proper order that I could have had more things survive, but it doesn't really matter. But it could have mattered, maybe. Whoa! Man, you gotta win. You gotta get to level 3 before you even get your first obelisk. 
Uh, but let's let's buy a few spirit orbs. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we got a couple of magmar cards. Uh, Dark seed. Nah. Nah. Heart seeker, sun tide maiden. Nothing crazy. Dagger Kiri, Lightbender, Mark of Solitude. Mm, again, nothing too crazy. <laughs> That's better. A Spectral Revenant and a Deathfire Crescendo. Somebody's trying to tell me to go Abyssian. We also threw in a Gorehorn. Not too shabby. Hmm. Either go Abyssian or just disenchant a whole lot. But there is a hard wipe coming up soon, so none of this really matters. Oh, Purgatos. Purgatos. Love Purgatos. He's so damn cool. Uh, other than that, nothing too crazy. All right. So, yeah, we've got... Uh, We've got a 2-0 two, two run going on so far with Vitruvian. I don't know if this deck is as good as the other one, but uh, probably six wins maybe. We'll see. We'll pick this back up on Wednesday when the gauntlet reopens. And, uh, yeah, not, not too long to go until closed beta. Good stuff. The alpha will be behind us. My name is Mang. This has been Mang the Duelist. Enter the gauntlet. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.